we're scoring my nationals. Yep. Evan Singleton, Ken McClelland. Figure since we're all here, we'll do a little sit down, chat about what's going on and what's new in Strongman and you know careers and stuff. So, you know, thanks for both being here. Obviously, your girlfriend's competing. Yes, sir. You have two clients. Two clients, and then I've got a client, and my girlfriend's competing too. So, I mean, first off, how are they doing? How's Lindsay doing? Uh, she's doing middle of the pack right now. Okay. Um, the first event was pretty decent for her. The second one was actually a surprise. Uh, she did really well. Nice. The, the third one wasn't too too much in her favor. Sure. But uh, we got two events coming up that she's really busted her ass on, and um, they're looking pretty strong. So Good. she's looking forward to that. Yeah. And then how are yours doing? Uh, they're doing pretty well. They both. I mean, they're both in loaded classes. Yeah. <clears throat> Middleweight women and. You know, middleweight men are both just stacked this year. It's, it's like super the most competitive, competitive all yeah. the time. All of them. Yeah, super competitive. But uh, my middleweight man, it's his first year. He's doing well. He's, he's PR'd in every event. But <clears throat> you can't ask for more than that. No. And um, my middleweight woman has done really well. I've been really happy. She had a, she could have done better in the press, but it's I think nerves are still a, mm -hmm. still an issue. Yeah. But that comes with time and experience. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, you've both got World Strongman Games coming up. Yes. I and mean, how's how's prep? We're four training weeks away. Is that right? Four training weeks away. Yeah. So how's how's prep? Uh, it's going pretty well for me. I'm very confident in uh, the weights. They're 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 pretty decently heavy weights. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of moving events, sure. and that's where I'm a little bit stronger. Yeah. Because statically, I would say I'm a little bit above middle of the pack. Yeah. As far as that, I'm pretty strong, but I'm very fast and athletic. I got yeah. that from my amateur wrestling background. Sure. So it carried over to strongman pretty well. So yeah. all a lot of the events are very very strong for me. I'm very confident. I'm looking sure. forward to it. Good. Nice. Nice. I'm looking forward to watching you compete. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Because yeah. <clears throat> I heard so much, I want to make sure you're not full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I know, I know you're doing great. No, I uh, my training's been it's it's okay. It's been spotty. I got a lot of things going on with uh, my business and stuff. But yeah. other than that, I mean, I feel confident. The weights are all doable. They lowered it from last year. Um, which I was kind of surprised about. Sure. As we spoke the other night. Yeah. Um, but they need to make it. <clears throat> they need to make it uh, open to all masters because masters is such a big class. Yeah, and it's open too. You know, yeah. it's, there's not even the weight classes. Yeah, open. yeah. So okay. you got the the lighter masters guys and the heavier masters guys, yeah. and you know they're both running the same stuff. And so it'll, it'll, I think it'll, I think lowering a little bit will open up more, make it more competitive overall. I think so. Yeah, you know, and it'll be it'll be a lot more fun. Yeah. So. So, I mean, how did you both get into strongman? So, so, were you, did you ever do pro wrestling? Yes, I, I, did. I did amateur wrestling in high school, okay. and after that I immediately jumped into professional wrestling. I did that for a solid two, three years. Okay. And then after that, um, I actually pursued bodybuilding. Okay. I went through the entire dieting and training and all that. Um, I'll just say, it was miserable. Oh, yeah. It was miserable. Yeah. I hated my life. Um, but I went through the entire process. I dieted. I lost 140 pounds. Yep. Wow. Yep. I lost 140 pounds. I jumped on stage. I ended up taking second. So yeah. that was pretty cool. Um, now that I said that I did that, yeah. and I can say that I went through the whole process, yeah. I'm never going to touch it again. No. Um, and then I made the, the decision to pursue either powerlifting or strongman. Yeah. And strongman was seemed like it was more fun. Yeah. It had a lot of different elements to it, which I actually appreciated. Yeah. It's not just the same thing over and over yeah. again. That's why I like about it. I tried strongman. I want to say about a week into it, I made the decision. I'm not doing powerlifting. I'm I'm staying with strongman. I'm yeah. going to pursue this, and I started training really hard. I started training all the areas that I was weak at, deadlift especially, because I went into strongman with like a 615 pound max, yeah. one rep max, and that's like shaking and everything. So um, uh, that's definitely gone up, and I'm just overall very excited to see where my career is going to go, sure. considering how serious and I take it and yes. how hard I train yeah. and how young you are. Yes, and so how young I am. I just turned 26 about two weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Pop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I fought him on I played college football and um, just kind of punched around and played some like arena football and okay. things like that for a yeah. while. And then uh, got into MMA for a while, and I was I fought for five or six years. I ended up being six and two as a pro. And then uh, <clears throat> I own a small gym. I trained people out of it. One guy showed up one day and goes, um, "Can I bring my log in?" And I was, I was like, Is "Some kind of weird like sex joke." <laughs> and he comes in with this this pit bull log, and I was like, "What is that?" He's like, "Oh, it's from Strongman." Me and uh, Jesse Lennox, who was a lightweight, uh, or excuse me, he was a 
a middleweight in the UFC, but he was at my gym, and we both just got done with MMA, and we were like, do you do that? We were looking at the guy, and he didn't really look like yeah. any of the guys we saw on TV. Yeah. And he's like, oh, there's weight classes, and, and we were like, what? Yeah. Let's do this. So we signed up for a show in St. Louis, ironically enough, uh, like two months later, wow. and just jumped in, and we've been, like, I he got a job, had a family, and kind of had to back out of it. Yeah. I've just been running with it ever since. That was like me, like watching as a kid growing up. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. then like I, I can't even remember how I got into it. You know, I just saw I saw there was like a contest or it was Scotland's Strongest Man qualifier. I went and watched it, and then there was like a contest later on that year, and I just started training for it. I'm like, this is weird, you know, like yeah. How the hell did I get into this? And then since then, it's like that's all I've done. Yep. You know, for the last for my thirteenth season. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> my first show, like, a week before my 18th birthday. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It's been a long, long road. <laughs> so, I mean, apart from Strongman Games, what you guys have coming up? Uh, plan? I got, well, I got Ultimate Strongman. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Masters Worlds just got my invite for that. Um, that's in May of next year. That's in May okay. of 2019. Yeah. So. And there's nothing really... You know, um, I don't have anything. I don't have my eyes on anything, really. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm just concentrating 100% on strongman games I can bring the best package I possibly can yeah. to North Carolina um, go in there dominate I want to grab my Giants live qualifier early this year because I ended up grabbing my previous grabbed, qualifier maybe like a, yeah. it was like a month and a half yeah, yeah. I think you and got yours and then like I got like the, like the, the text from uh, Aaron Mullen and it was like hey do you want to come play I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm like, like four sessions to try to figure yeah. this out with yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just I I really just honing in on one show so I can bring the best package I can get my qualifier so that way I have more time to really hone in and yeah. train and work on all the weaknesses that I had the first time I went into Giants Live, yeah. so that now I'll be a little bit better prepared and I can put on a better show, place yeah. higher, go to Worlds. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, like Giants Live was your second show. I mean, what did you think of the whole experience? Oh, it was a fantastic experience. Yeah. I mean. The obvious thing, being as competitive as I am and how, how I wanted to do well, I didn't yeah. place as high as I wanted. Yeah. Um, I had my sights set high, so that was a little bit of a disappointing thing. But at the same time, um, it was my second competition, and I'm getting interviewed by Bill Kazmaier. Um, yeah. I'm having Lawrence Shale and Mark Felix giving yeah. me advice on deadlifting and moving yeah. events. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting next to Rob Kearney getting all my yeah. stuff together. I mean, just everybody was so welcoming. Yeah. Considering it was my first show, I'm still very green to the yeah. sport. I'm still very new to it. And how welcoming and nice and kind everybody was yeah. was really awesome. Plus, being part of a production that big was, oh, yeah. was just cool in and of itself. Yeah. That was awesome. thing. It's like, you know, like, Indy's got a good crowd. And it's like, you go to me. I've not been involved with, like, the higher stuff that Collins put on. But, I mean, first Europe did it in 2012. The 5,000 person crowd. I remember driving to the arena, like we were on a, like a bus with all the athletes from the hotel, and they were like, yeah, we've got a line around the corner and it's sold out. Like, they're opening extra seating to try and figure this out. Wow. There's like 5,000. Like, Britain's, I heard, was, I thought it was five, I heard it was 8,000 when I did it in January. Jeez. And it's insane. Like, you go in and you're just like, oh my God. And like, the, like the intros, like, the, there's like pyros going yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh my God. Like, like Eddie's, Eddie's intros, the whole place is going crazy. Like, it was cool. It's like, I can't imagine, like, you know, Europe's now, where it's like 15,000. Yep. Like, it's insane to me. Like, how they grow in that. In a, in a, it's a short period of time, realistically. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're really looking at it, it's like, I think they did Britain's in, like, the, they probably started 2010, 11, maybe? Maybe not even then. But it's been, like, really six, seven years, and it's exploded over there. I mean, do you think I could come over here like that? Do you think like you could have that sort of same growth here? I mean, I think we have the infrastructure for it if it's marketed right. I think it's possible. I mean, you look at the CrossFit Games. Oh yeah. And, and as strongman events seem to bleed into the CrossFit Games, yeah. You get more and more crossover interest. You know, we have a CrossFit gym that's a couple hundred yards from from my gym in Iowa, and a lot of those guys will come over and just try out implements or yeah. call and be like, "Can we borrow an axle? Can you show us how to axle yeah. clean?" You know, can you show us how to flip a tire correctly? Can you show us how to do yoke? You know, and so it, I think you're going to have more, there's, there's the potential for crossover fans. Yeah, well, man, I think it's because it's obviously the, the crossover games are using more <coughs> stuff. I think that will <coughs> help yeah. build it more. You know, I think we have, like, in the, what, nationals here is, what, 
over 200 athletes I think this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Like USS Nationals was 400. Yeah, like, yeah, that was which insane. is insane. Which to me, like to have that amount of athletes is insane. Well, I think I think we just need as like the promoters need to develop a novice class, like push the novice yes. class, to maybe even have novice competitions to bring in more people. You know, one of the reasons soccer is so popular across the, the whole world is anybody can play yes. soccer. Yeah. Well, not everybody can do strongman. They don't have all the implements. Yeah. But if you, if you know, the gyms promote. You know, we did a one of my trainers, Sarah, put on a strongman day, okay. and it was it was a lady strongman day, and it was nice. only for women. And we had, I think, twenty women show up. Like I just think Wyatt did something like that. Yeah. Like intro to strongman or yeah. strongman strongman or whatever. Maybe it was co-ed, but there was a lot of people that showed up. Yeah. That's, that's how she got into it. You know, we had one woman. She's got to be fifty-seven years old. Shows up, wow. she's cleaning, pressing logs. Flipping tires, and about halfway through the day, she looks pretty, pretty pooped. And I go, "Are you okay? Like, do you normally like how long you been working out?" She's like, "Well, I've never worked out before. I just thought this looked fun." And I was just like, "Well, you're gonna be sore." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? After that, that lady came back, and she's been training ever since. She's been training at the gym ever since. Yeah. Started working out in her late fifties with a strongman day, like, and wow. then now has been since then has been diligently coming to the gym two, three days a week. You know, based on her work and training and seeing games, it's kind that's, of but that's that cool. Awesome. I think strongman is so it's so diverse. Absolutely, yeah. that was what drew me to it. Was that I, it wasn't the same bench squat dead, bench squat dead. Well, that's the thing. Like, like for me, like I've I've helped people with powerlifting. Like showed my brother, like won junior worlds a couple of years ago. But it's such a long day, and then especially like this, like you've got a bunch of people that you got, like you train with who are all competing. Then it's two days of the same thing. And it's like, <laughs> oh my god! Like, there's only so much squat, bench, and deadlift you can watch. You almost feel yeah. like that movie Groundhog Day. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just one thing over and over and over again. It almost gets hypnotic just watching yeah. guys. You know, you're just like, oh, I can't do this. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, was that the was other appeal to me. The other thing that I really like about Strongman is the diversity. Not only in the the different events, every show is pretty much going to be different as far yeah. as events, but there's no real. Um, cookie cutter way that you need to look yeah for no. in strongman. I mean no. you got guys in the super heavyweight class that are like two thirties, you got guys that are 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 they look like bodybuilders, and then you got guys that are walking around like four hundred pounds and just really yeah. round. There is no set and I think that opens the door to a lot more people going, I well, so. I don't, yeah. well I don't look like those guys on T V. Well yeah. you don't have to. Exactly. It's all yeah. about performance. It doesn't matter what yeah. you look like. And I yeah. think that opens the door to a lot of people, think, especially yeah. if you're self conscious. I think that and then it's like a case of, you know, it's good for the crowd in terms of like, oh, well, that guy's 400 pounds or 300 pounds. This guy's only 260. Oh, he's not going to stand a chance. And then the guy goes and kicks ass. Yep. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, like, yeah. that was cool. It's like <coughs> a different, it, it just shows different Well, I know I heard a lot yesterday from, like, when I was in the crowd watching, like, the lightweight women go. There were people that you could tell weren't having been around strongman before. They're, they're yes. supporting someone they love is, yes. is doing nationals, and they came out. They have no idea what's going on. And they're watching, and you can just see their face go, that, that girl did that? How yeah. much is that? And you're like, oh, you know, that's a 135, 145 pounds or whatever. And they're like, that's more than me. And I'm like, yeah, she just picked that up and pressed it over her head. Yeah. And you can see their eyes just like, yeah. that girl? Like, she, that girl? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah. you don't have, like, everybody envisions people that are strong or, you Big, know, yeah. they no neck. Like, yeah. like this guy who got to cut his, <laughs> cut his <laughs> collar <laughs> off to fit his head through a shirt, you know? But I mean, like, but I mean, like, I mean, like you look at you look at a guy like you, and you're like, "Yeah, that's a strong dude." Yeah. But then you look at some of these <clears throat> lightweights and two thirty ers and that dude could be working behind the counter at Starbucks, mm -hmm. and and then all of a sudden he's deadlifting six hundred pounds. And you're just like, "Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I, I, well, good for you! Yeah. Like, holy crap, man!" You know. So that's the the diversity. Yep. You know, it's the, like it's like nobody's from just like one walk of life. Yeah. You know, like you know, just like I, I don't know what is it Lindsay does for work. Uh, she actually works at Godiva Chocolates, and okay. she's, oh, she's, wow. yeah. yeah, you're skinny. We got, <laughs> yeah. you're so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> we got a link up now. Maybe bring, maybe bring your spouse to work day, every <laughs> day. Oh, oh, God, yeah, yeah, she brings me bags of chocolates home oh, and all that yeah, good stuff yeah. all the time. It's awesome. That's oh, oh, the thing. It's, it's like, awesome. You know, that, that, and then, like, obviously your clients are, what are they? I, mean, I got a college student, and the other one works for, uh, for the National Guard. There you go. And then, like, Wendy's, like, um esthetician and the yep. old mom and then Lacey's like manager of the store yep. and it's like you know everyone does whatever like your gym owner your factory stuff mm -hmm. 
gym owner and company yeah. shit. You know, it's like everyone's just so diverse in the sport. Like, oh, yeah. There's nothing. <coughs> I got a nurse it. practitioner yeah. that does it. I have a pharmacist, ironically, that does it. I have, yeah. uh, I have a, a physical therapist. I have an IT guy. Yeah. I, have, I mean, like, it's... Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's complete. And then I have construction workers that yeah. come in. And I mean, like, it's, it's everything from, you know, higher education, you know, PhDs and to some guy that dropped out of high school that just really likes to pick up heavy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, cool. And we all hang out and train together and yep. have a great time. That's why it's so good. <clears throat> it like, doesn't matter where you like, you sit in like social structures yep, yep, and yep. career stuff. Like you're all just the same person when you come and do this. Oh yeah. You know, that's the, the, the exciting thing to me. Yeah, it's fun. So, I mean, anything you guys want to talk about? Like anything that comes to mind? You know, I think, I think contest is starting pretty damn soon. Yeah, I need to head it down. What time is? Yeah, well, I don't have any. I don't have any lightweights, so I got. Yeah. I got a half an hour window. Eight fifty four. Well, we better head down. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So, Ken McClelland, Evan Singleton, stay tuned for more from these guys. Yeah. yeah oh, oh you have the. He's, well, oh. he's got the thing, so he has to do it. Oh. I have to do that. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you later. Thank you.